Churches sell hoodies, t-shirts, <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> Wasn't Jesus outraged when merchants were selling things in the temple? That seems hypocritical. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Talk amongst, amongst yourselves. Well, Brenda goes into deep thought about yeah. this one. I think, are you, are you just like going into deep thought for rebuttal or like no, whatever's going to be said? I'm not even in deep thought. I, I think you have to look at the context of what Jesus was upset about. Like we were talking about this the other day. You have to look at the context uh, of it. They, like they were taking advantage of people that couldn't bring an offering to to God. So they're selling this, and he's outraged by that. They're taking advantage of people um, here in in that they're they're doing it for gain for themselves, um, and you know that's like that's the biggest distinction that I can go from like the temple during that time to churches today. Um, now, if if a church was saying like hey, we're just doing this because like. We're gonna give, you know, all like all the pastors a raise or something like that. I probably like have an issue with it if it's going towards something missional, like hey, we're selling a T-shirt so we can, you know, help students go on a mission trip. I, like I'd say like hey, okay, like let's let's do that. And I think in most instances in churches today, I see more of a missional aspect of what they're doing to advance the mission of what they're doing compared to the in, in that context Jesus was. Like literally going to bat at, um, at the fact that they were selling things, taking for advantage high, of high for high high prices and just taking advantage of people. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I I mean, I I think of my opinion is that literally everywhere that like church ministry and commerce sort of touch uh-huh. each other, it gets complicated. Yep. And, That's great. And that is in our our. In tax structure yep. that's in all kinds of things but I always think about a time my very first church job I was like 20, 21 and uh, it was the first time that anyone had offered to pay me money <laughs> to do ministry work right. and and as soon and it was like part time you know and I wrestled with that as soon as that became a thing I thought am I going in the wrong direction this feels it left a weird taste in my mouth and I remember talking to a woman who was the pastor at the church where I worked and she said, she was real clear, and I appreciated this. She said, um, don't think that we're paying you to be a minister. Think that we're paying you so that you don't have to do anything else, so that you can spend your time doing this. Mm-hmm. And so, and I took that to heart. That, that was enough to make me okay with the idea of getting paid to do something that I'm called to do in the first yeah. place. And so I kind of carry that opinion all the way through all this other stuff, you know, where, where things get complicated, where commerce and our, and our mission sort of meet, I go, you know, some of these things are okay because the idea is that there are people who get to spend their time and mental energy and spiritual energy mm-hmm. serving. Yeah, um, that's good. And so do I have a problem with like selling t-shirts in the lobby and coffee and stuff? No. Yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do not. It is I think it's totally doesn't like fine. t-shirts because he's a rock and roller. I don't like t-shirts because I'm contrarian by nature and I have a hard time with like everybody matching. <laughs> That's part of it. It's like every mission trip. And the other <laughs> Does everyone have their bright yellow t-shirts on? When we had to wear matching t-shirts in here for some Sundays, I was just like, oh no, it starts. It starts. <laughs> no, my thing, this is unrelated. My thing about t-shirts is ecological. It's the same reason I have trouble with just buying pallets of bottled water and taking them places. I just think we make so much trash and t-shirts are like a, a major offender. They just take forever to biodegrade in the landfills and we and we make them by the thousands and give them to kids for like everything. So that's my trouble with t-shirts. It's not that I don't think the church should sell things. Bro, I saw t-shirts out. from eighth grade. Come on, man. Well, I've sure got a stack of them from West Side. But they're... <laughs> I mean, I think there's, the there's been a few kids that have come into Speedway because they saw a T-shirt that a kid was wearing, oh. and you know, and, and you know, it's, so it's kind of like there's it's both and, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, if you're not okay with selling T-shirts, then don't sell T-shirts. Yeah. If you want to sell T-shirts, sell T-shirts. You know, like I don't really yeah. think it's a, a right or wrong thing, but if you're selling T-shirts for like $150, and yeah. you know, that, I mean. Yeah. That might be a little extreme, you know. And most of the stuff, we don't even make money on the T-shirts. You know, I we lose money. Away <laughs> <and> <laughs> t-shirts. money on t-shirts. Yeah. I want to make socks. 
Like, no, that's, that's a hard pass. Like, oh, socks? Socks <laughs> with our faces. I can't. Like, like, well, polka dot socks. Polka dot socks. <laughs> polka dot socks and <laughs> has Moving on, those. next question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get your t-shirt ideas submissions in. No, <laughs> our next, no, no, no. Our next t-shirts of, of all of us on our faces. On Mount Rushmore. On Mount Rushmore. Nothing. That's like, right. That's a great idea. 